Hi, it's Tommy Clapp from Overland Power Solutions, and we are here today installing the X-Venture Trailer Overland Pioneers setup. So we're gonna be wiring today this Red Arc 1225, and a lot of times these wires can be a little bit overwhelming, and so we're just gonna go over what each of them do. So we'll start with the thicker, bigger wires. You have the black, which is your ground. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to run this to your common ground. It is okay if you load ground it, as long as your load ground is also common ground. The yellow is going to go to your solar positive, and your solar negative is gonna to go to that same common ground. The brown is to your house battery. So when we say house battery, that in this case is gonna be our trailer battery, which is located here in the tongue box. The red wire, it goes to your start battery. So what's nice about this, this is what is bringing in your feed from your alternator and allowing the red arc to do what it does also well, which is control the power input and with its algorithms into your charging system. And then we have these kind of small wires and they do a couple of different things, but really what you need to know most is your blue wire is an indicator wire. So if you have any sort of light set up, and this green and these orange, they do a few things, but really you need to know with these that if you are putting in a lithium battery, these need to be ran together. And that's really the basic setup of any sort of red arc, whether it's a 1225, 1240, 1250, uh, all of them wire very similar. Uh, we really recommend red arc products. It's uh, superior in the industry and we've had great um, just really great experience with the power solutions that they can provide. All right, so we are gonna replace the NOCO 8 amp charger with a uh, smart charger by Victron. It's an IP65. This guy um, not only will do lithium, but also AGM. It's 15 amps, um, far more capable than what you see with a lot of the NOCO product that um, comes on a lot of trailers very standard. All right, so for monitoring, we really prefer the Victron 712B. Not only is this a great way to monitor your load, your battery usage, your percentage, but it also is able to be monitored via the Victron Connect app. Uh, so this device, you see your shore charger, everything can be monitored on that app. So if you're sitting in tent, you're sitting at camp, you can monitor everything as you go. So we finished up our install on the Overland Pioneers X-Venture trailer, um, went with a pretty standard AGM OPS system. Overland Power Solutions supplies both shore, solar, as well as DC to DC charging through Red Arc systems. So all of the stuff in here in this box really can be compacted into any situation, any trailer, back of a vehicle. Really what you're looking for is to have endless power and that is our goal is to power your adventure. All right, so on a circuit breaker from the front of the vehicle, we ran back to an Anderson uh, connection that's different from a seven pin. Seven pin uh, hots don't actually charge trailers and that is really some misinformation that a lot of the overland market struggles with. So with that extra wire, we're able to go in and power our Red Arc and give our batteries full charge. So each device does a little bit uh, of a different function. Uh, the Red Arc, here is what allows us to be the brains for the solar, the management of also the DC to DC from the vehicle. We have an IP65 by, uh, by Victron uh, that is our shore charger. It allows us to charge the vehicle from a shore uh, line at your house. It could be before a trip. It also could be if you decide to stop at a campground and get a shower, you can refuel your batteries here. This is a Safety Hub 150. Uh, the reason we decided to replace the existing safety hub um, is because this gives us high amp options. So you can run an air compressor. In this case, we can also run our charging devices through it, which adds a fusible option. It's a much safer setup. So with the safety hub, we do run all Anchor marine grade wire with heat shrink in. So we make sure we are as weatherproof as possible. 
and we try to be extensive and hand make each wire. With our marine grade wire and our heat shrink, we use terminal ends that has glue and adhesive inside. As we heat that up, it actually helps keep moisture and other things out of the environment of that wire, keeping it better uh, insulated for your use. With our monitoring, we use a Victron 712B, and that device allows both in person by looking through in the gauge in the box, but also using the Victron Connect app. We're able to monitor our batteries from our vehicle, from camp, or anywhere around that we want to make sure that, uh, that things are functioning the way they should. It also lets us know when we're seeing input, but also when we have output, like our fridge is running, our lights are on, how long we actually have with the functional life of that battery. So often we get different requests for charging options when you're out overlanding. One of the unique requests that we've gotten from Overland Pioneers was the need to charge this e-bike while out on the trail. So a good option for that is something like this, which is a Victron Energy Pure Sign Inverter. Uh, this is 800 watts. It should be plenty to keep this bike up and running while off grid and will be able to supplement any time that he is not plugged into any sort of shore power. So if this is something that you're really interested in, give us a shout at info at overland-power.com. We'll be quick to get back with you and get you set up for a system, whether that is a system that you want to install, we ship you a kit, or if you wanna come here to the shop in East Tennessee and get it installed, we can definitely take care of that. We also have the option of system in a box, which is movable from vehicle to vehicle. So our goal is to find solutions and power your adventure out on the trail.